Bochi State boasts of over 1,000 primary health centers spread across the 20 local government areas of the state. But some of the amenities needed for a functional primary health center, like water, hygiene, constant power supply and human resources, are absent in most of the health facilities. The assessment that has been done shows that um, less than 5% of the primary health care centers in the state are functional using this stringent criteria. Okay, so most of them are actually not functional. This health facility located in the heart of the city provides services to not less than 500 women and children monthly and receives over 80 deliveries. But it relies on students as personnel. The delivery room is appalling as it contends with a myriad of problems. Look at our roof, it is leaking all over. The lab is leaking. Even the in-charge office sometimes leaks. If you go around, you see the toilet, it is also leaking. The uh, water we are using, we are using a well water, but it is uncovered. We used to have a borehole which is broken. National Demographic Health Survey in 2013 reveals that Bochi accounts for 800 maternal mortality rate far above the national average and infant mortality is put at 86 while neonatal death is 43. UNICEF, funded by EU, is intervening in partnership with the Bochi state government to resuscitate primary health centers under the program Strengthening Primary Health Care and community resilience for improved maternal, newborn child health and nutrition. We are in the forefront of making 323 health facilities functional uh, based on the words that we have in the state. Uh, UNICEF has uh, identified about 162 of those facilities to assist us uh, with making it functional. However, it still remains for the state to do a lot because uh, personnel uh, issues is uh, one issue that has to be tackled by the state. In 2020, it is hoped that every pregnant mother and child should be able to visit a functional primary health care center where quality services are available.